Ladies and gentlemen, I've been a member of our party for 12 years. And until now, at every conference, I've been where you are, in the audience, as an activist, listening to our members of parliament and willing on our team to win. Today, I am proud to be standing here as the newly elected member of parliament for Saffron Walden. Me, <laughs> Kemi, a girl from Nigeria, now sitting on those green benches and standing on this stage. How did this happen? <laughs> because our party is the party of opportunity, inclusivity, and hope. <laughs> But not everyone gets that. I receive lots of emails from young people asking me, I didn't think the Conservative Party was for people like me. How did you do it? I tell them all the same thing. I tell them that I am lucky, lucky to live in the world's most open and generous nation. There are very few countries in the world where you can go in one generation from immigrant to parliamentarian. It is the British dream, people choosing this country because of its tolerance and its opportunity. Only in this country could a girl move here, age 16, instantly be accepted as British and then have the honor of representing a beautiful part of Essex where for the first time in 30 years, we have a clean sweep of Tory MPs. I'm so proud to be part of such a great team. I was also lucky to have been born to a mother who valued education above, above all things and incredibly lucky to have a father who taught me the importance of having the right values, conservative values, aspiration, and personal responsibility. Every time I complained about something, he would say, Kemi, 90% of what happens to you is down to you, and only 10% are the people. When things go wrong, Ask yourself what you can do to make them better. And there was no better preparation when age 16, I decided to move to London on my own with nothing but the last 100 pounds and his best wishes. But I wonder how right he was because we all live within a community and I wouldn't be standing here without the help of so many of you. When I joined the Conservative Party, many Labour activists couldn't believe that a black woman could be conservative. They said it was a lapse of judgment that I'd soon be running away, screaming, from all the white middle-aged conservative men and their prejudice. When I was a candidate in London in 2010, they called me window dressing, said I would never get a winnable seat. When I was shortlisted for Saffron Walden, they told me Essex would never select me. And when I was elected this year, they simply couldn't believe it was possible. They are in denial. I know, and you know, that it's the Conservatives who are the party of opportunity. And I never, never experienced prejudice in the Conservative Party and would not be here today without the white middle-aged Conservative men who encouraged me and mentored me. Graham Brady, Francis Maud, Guy Opperman, thank you. I couldn't have done it without you. <laughs> I 
I couldn't have done it without the people of Essex, the Saffron Walden Conservatives who adopted me as one of their own. And I couldn't have done it without the help of activists like you. The Conservative Party is my family. I even married the deputy chairman of my association. <laughs> I also would not be standing here today without Women to Win. And I would like to sp pay special thanks to the incomparable Baroness Anne Jenkin for her hard work and support for me and so many female candidates. <laughs> we cannot underestimate the importance of showing young girls and boys whatever their background, whatever their race, that there is no limit to what they can achieve. We are the party of aspiration. <laughs> I remember growing up in Nigeria in the 80s and boys at school saying that women couldn't be leaders. Two words always shut them up. Margaret Thatcher. Always. <laughs> She was someone who broke down barriers, not just in Britain, but all over the world. Only the Conservative Party could have given this country its first and second female Prime Minister. <laughs> Diversity is important, but not the quota-obsessed left-wing version where the color of your skin is more important than the content of your character. We don't have all women, we don't have all women shortlists, we have meritocracy. We believe in diversity of background and unlike our opponents, diversity of thought. We believe in debating and challenging ideas not hanging effigies of your opponents or threatening violence against those who disagree with you. It, it is a tribute to the fundamental decency of our party membership that you will never see conservative activists spitting outside a Labour conference or calling their supporters scum. Our membership represents so much of what is good about our country. Hardworking, generous people who give up their time to help others. Five years ago, I took a friend of mine campaigning for a, for a council by-election in London. This is my idea of a fun Saturday afternoon. <laughs> While we were there, we bumped into an ex-councillor who, represent, who represented that ward 25 years before, still helping out still delivering leaflets, even though she had a busy new job. I wonder if you can guess who I mean. We said hello and walked past, and my friend said to me, isn't that the Home Secretary? <laughs> and I said proudly, yes, that is Theresa May. It is therefore a huge honor to be introducing a woman who has done so much for our country a woman whose career embodies many of the values which we as conservatives hold most dear. Hard work, integrity, and perseverance. As a girl, she was one of us, stuffing envelopes in the local campaign office. As a young woman, she served beside us as a local councillor. As our party chairman, she made us confront the need to change so we could win again. As the founder of Women to Win, she quite literally changed the face of our party. As Home Secretary, she cut crime and took on some of the worst injustices of our country's modern history. As Prime Minister, she secured the highest Conservative vote share since 1983. Ladies and gentlemen, my, my fellow Conservatives, 
we'll shortly be hearing from our Prime Minister, Theresa May. But just before that, here's a quick video <laughs> about our mission as a party and a government. Thank you.